again and welcome once again from the Maniac Guy up here in Maine. So, I'm talking to you guys today about this new rifle build that I've done. And what I did is I built up a 450 Bushmaster. So, as I've heard it said, if you uh, prescribe to the, to the old adage that bigger is better, then this is definitely going to be a cartridge for you. So, first of all, what is the 450 Bushmaster? Uh, we're going to have some shooting in this video. I'm going to demo this and let you guys know what I think about it and all that stuff. Uh, so, first, let's talk about the cartridge. So this is the 450 Bushmaster round. Um, this is your standard. This is actually a 556 by 45 or a 223 uh, round. And so basically this is what your standard AR slash M4 is gonna shoot. So this is your standard Bushmaster, 450 Bushmaster round. So this shoots a 55 grain projectile. These vary anywhere from, uh, this is the 250 grain uh, Hornady black round uh, and they range all the way up from this is a federal I've got some federal fusions here all right here we go this is a, a 250 grain uh, bonded core federal fusion hunting round uh, and they go all the way up through this is a 300 grain uh, federal non-typical hunting round so it's a pretty nasty looking round right there if you ask me um so yeah so why did i choose this round uh honestly i wanted a big bore this is my very first i built this ar uh this is the very first ar that i've ever built and i wanted to uh i've, I've shot and and trained with and and used various types of the m4 uh carbine slash ar-15 rifles uh, well for a really long time so for 20 right around 20 years uh, maybe give maybe even a little more than that uh, I've been training with and using these types of rifles for a long time uh, I've got a lot of other firearms at home but never had one myself uh, mainly because I, I was never a real big fan of the uh, gas impingement system but Bottom line is, I finally bit the bullet and said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and build them. But if I do one, I want it to be a big bore. Now, I was looking at the 50 Beowulf or the 458 SOCOM or the 450 Bushmaster. I settled on the 450 Bushmaster because the bottom line is, this is really starting to take off as a hunting cartridge. Which means, and I could be wrong here, but my theory is that the price point on these are going to come down and the round availability is going to go up. They're right now, depending, right around $25 to $28 for a box of 20, which isn't bad when you look at the big bore AR-15 rounds that are out there right now. So, and the availability, you can pretty much get them anywhere uh, online. And there's a few local sporting goods store. I was down at a Bass Pro Shops uh, slash Cabela's um, a few weeks ago when I was able to pick up a box of actually these Federal Fusions right there. So. Um, they're not quite as plentiful as some other rounds, but they are more plentiful than 50 Beowulf or uh, 458 SOCOM for sure. And uh, these aren't just the only bullets available, but there are a lot of them. Uh, there are a lot of them out there. These are just the ones that I have right now. So as you can see, they are a handful. We'll be doing some shooting. Uh, we'll shoot some soda bottles. We'll put some rounds on target and show you guys a little bit about that. So that's a little bit about this rifle. Uh, I'll have some pictures up there of it, um, a little bit about the rifle itself. I went with a Bear Creek Arsenal Upper. I decided to do this paracord weave on it. Uh, we'll see if it's anything that I want to, that I want to stick with, or if I want to change it out, or I don't know. I just, it was something fun that I put together. Uh, it's, this has got everything in it from a scope that I painted up to Spikes Tactical Crusader Lower. Uh, my magazines, uh, these have been pretty dependable magazines. I followed a few people's advice online. Um, so I followed, you know, Buffalo and, and the Virginia Game Hunter and a few of you guys that are out there. Um, so thank you for your tips and, and everything. Uh, I uh, basically have been shooting this, this, uh, it's a Lawman, uh, the... L5 Lancer magazine. Uh, these with a Tromix follower work really well. Um, and the other one that I've got here, I've got the single single stack follower uh, Hex Mag. 
that I've been using. Now you take a standard 5.56 mag and you can convert it over to basically be a single stack for this 450. So the rifle itself has got everything, it's a bit of a mongrel, it's got everything from Magpul to a Radian Raptor uh, for my charging handle uh, to Battle Arms Development for my safety to Bravo Company Trigger, uh, like I say the Spikes Tactical Crusader Lower, Upper I went with the Bear Creek Arsenal, been really happy with that so far so thank you Bear Creek. Uh, Magpul furniture on this, it's got the M-Lock rail, as I said I just decided to kind of, this is the, the hand stop by Magpul on the front here, and like I say I just decided to go with the paracord because it's something that's fun, I don't know if I'll stick with it or not, but, so there's a bit of everything in here, pretty much I just kind of custom tailored Strike Industries, I've got some Strike Industries stuff on here, I'm not going to take you guys through the uh, building process, there's plenty of videos out there on it, but this is the 450 that I built, started with a strip lower, and just kind of worked my way up from there and built it in the way that I kind of thought it would be neat to have it built. It's got a bit of red on it to stick with the Crusader theme. And uh, yeah, um, I kind of like, uh, I like down here, you've got your Pax, uh, Pax Pacus, Bellum, and Deus Volt, which if you flip it over on this side, it shows you in English, you got peace, war, and God wills it. So... Yeah, I like this a lot. Um, this is this has functioned great. I had a, a few few troubles when I first built it as far as getting it to run without jamming. Uh, most of those problems seem to be ironed out. I do notice that there is differences in the taper on some of these rounds, so it does prefer some rounds to others. Um, but and all the short stroking problems are fixed now. Life is good. That was nothing to do with the upper. That was everything to do with my buffer that I chose and my setup that I had. So. Anyway, I'm not going to get into the build stuff a lot. just wanted to share this rifle with you guys. Like I said, we'll be out doing some shooting with it. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, let's go do some shooting. All right, so here we are. Uh, back down from the study. Time to actually do some shooting with this. So, this is uh, the weapon's clear. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, put some rounds down range. And we're not incredibly far away. We're about 20 yards out. I uh, just kind of want to show you guys what this gun's all about. We'll be shooting at the body silhouette first. All right, guys, locked and loaded. Let's see what we can't do to those bottles up there. I've got those 300 grain hunting rounds in, so they hit a little bit lower, but I figure if I aim just a tad bit high, this range will be good to go. All right, let's take a walk up. Let's safety the weapon. Let's take a walk up, see what we did. All right, so as you guys, I wish if we had snow on the ground right now, I mean, this absolutely, I've got bottles way over there. To be honest with you, I'm not even sure where the other one went. We'll have to find it, so we leave the woods up behind the house cleaner than we left them or leave them cleaner than we found them here let me get my hearing protection out um, so the kinetics that this oh there it is there's way over there in the woods through it uh, so the kinetics on this round is absolutely crazy as you see the uh, as rapidity a word uh, the amount of, of rounds you can put down range in a short amount of time to develop that many foot-pounds of energy is actually pretty crazy 
uh, I'll put up a picture of a target that, that I did shoot at uh, 50 yards from a table. Now this, this weapon is capable of, of decent, almost one hole accuracy. And uh, I'll put that uh, picture up and I'll splice that in right now. So just taking kneeling shots really quick. These were all different types of ammo. This, this was the Hornady and just look at the size of those holes by the way. I mean, they're kind of huge. So this was the Hornady black ammo here. Hornady black ammo here with an FTX, uh, uh, yeah, ballistic tip round. And then over here, this one that's a little bit off, that was a different, uh, that was the Federal Fusion. So different rounds hit different ways. This is zeroed with the Hornady blacks, which is the most available of those ammos. So the black flies are coming out to visit us now because of the soda that's now everywhere. But hey, it's all worth it for YouTube. So let's just hang my hearing protection up here and give you guys one last look of the 450 Bushmaster. So the 450 Bushmaster, if you're looking to get into a big bore AR, definitely recommend it. Love this gun. Um, functional, awesome ballistics. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to post uh, down in the comments. I will do my very best to, uh, to do what others have done for me and, and answer any questions that you have. Always great to have you guys along. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, again, from the Maniac Guy up here in Maine. Until next time, have a good one, guys.